At South End Airport, there are lots of old airliners which will eventually be cut up for scrap. But this one has got a stay of execution. It's Qantas' very first jet. A short fuselage Boeing 707 built in 1959. It was a pioneering part of the jet aviation era. Uh, we've got a real love affair with the aircraft. We want to get it back home. It, uh, it is a great looking aircraft. A little bit old in the technology stakes, but other than that, it, uh, it's got its own little charm. It's a little bit like a Connie. This aeroplane is, is not only a part of Australia's heritage, aviation heritage, but it's also world heritage. This is the very first 707 exported out of the USA. It's majestic, it's, it's full-bodied, it's, it's uh, such an original design that feels so airworthy. I was quite surprised when I saw it in an article in a magazine that the aircraft was still existent and it was at South End and uh, it was looking for a new owner. So from that stem the events which are taking place now, which we're trying to rescue the aeroplane and bring it home. For six months working in all sorts of weather, these retired Qantas aircraft engineers have created a little bit of Australia right here in Essex. Collectively, they're very good at their jobs. They have more than 400 years experience working on aircraft, and many of them cut their teeth on the 707. Their temporary home is this portable metal shed. Their task, to get back into the air a plane which hasn't flown for six years. This is what the plane looked like when the engineers did a preliminary survey. Streaked with mildew, it had survived six English winters. The plane had had a number of owners after it was sold by Qantas, finally ending its days as a VIP aircraft for a Saudi Arabian prince. Do you like what you're seeing here? If you'd like to watch the full-length version of this film, jump on over to www.historicalmachines.tv Sign up for a free seven day trial and you can watch it free of charge. But while you're there, check out the rest of the catalogue because we've got an awful lot of material and we think it'll be worth your while sticking around. I remember when the Beatles arrived in Australia, you know what I mean? They arrived in a 707. You know? So, you know what I mean? It was, uh, it was the, uh, it was the aer aeroplane of the day. We were working on this back in the early days when it first came into Australia and it was a pioneering part of the jet aviation era. These were the sort of aircraft that we cut our teeth on and um, we love them. <laughs> it was the first 707 that was sold outside of America. It was the first pure jet aircraft imported into Australia. It was the, uh, the start of a new age in air travel. John Travolta's plane is a sister aircraft to ours, now reconfigured as a VIP aircraft. He's passionate about flying and has about 5,000 hours on a variety of aircraft types. He uses his 707 to roam the world as a goodwill ambassador for Qantas. My crew and I are so impressed because we know what it takes to keep a 707 of a vintage uh, style up and keep it current and keep it flying in uh, top standard. But to get it up to snuff where you can take it out of storage basically is a tremendous feat and it takes a lot of work and tender love and care. Join us on our full advert free streaming service at historicalmachines.tv, where you'll find lots more great footage just like this, all for less than the cost of a cup of coffee per month.